Welcome to Hoko Polizzo's Poetry Moment. Lucille Clifton used to joke that she thought all poets were old, dead white men. That's because most schools taught a poetry syllabus full of Shakespeare, Keats, and Shelley. But starting with her first published book in 1969, Clifton became a giant among poets, a giant who was black and a woman. Clifton explains that when she wrote her poem, Good Times, in the 1960s, she had not read poems like it. Many poems are written in an elevated style, but Clifton wrote her poem in plain language. This poem, Good Times, is set in a city apartment where paying the bills is a bit of a struggle and family members play the numbers to win a little money. This poem comes out of my life, Clifton said. The poem begins with mama's fresh bread, the bills paid and an extended family dancing in the kitchen. But by the last line, the poet reminds the children to think about the good times. It sounds like these good times don't last long. Reginald Dwayne Betts, a formerly incarcerated man who became a celebrated poet, wrote a remembrance of Clifton after she died in 2010. Betts wrote, her poems touched the political, the personal, the spiritual. I'm reminded mostly that Lucille Clifton helped me hear things, helps all of those who love her work hear things that they would rather ignore. My daddy has paid the rent and the insurance man is gone and the lights is back on and my uncle Brud has hit for $1 straight and they is good times, good times, good times. My mama has made bread and grandpa has come and everybody is drunk and dancing in the kitchen and singing in the kitchen. Oh, these is good times, good times, good times. Oh, children, think about the good times.